Hello, everyone. I'm excited to introduce a new GIMP plugin I created recently that seamlessly integrates with Meta's AI-based tool, Segment Anything. This plugin enables you to effortlessly isolate objects within raster images directly from GIMP. I've provided the download link for the plugin and all the other resources used here in the video description, so feel free to download and use it if you find it useful. The installation process consists of two main parts. Part 1. Setting up Segment Anything locally. First, you need to set up the Segment Anything local instance. You will get the detailed installation instructions about installing Segment Anything on your platform on Segment Anything GitHub site. There are three models or checkpoints that are published with the tool. The recommended one is VIT underscore H, but I found VIT underscore L also does a fairly good or even better job in certain scenarios. So maybe you can download all of these models and experiment with them for better results. In any case, make sure you download at least one of them. Also, the Segment Anything tool works better if you have a GPU with decent amount of VRAM. Part 2. Installing the GIMP plugin. First, make sure your GIMP version supports Python Foo. Open GIMP and check for the Python Foo submenu under Filters. If you don't see it, you'll need to install a Python enabled version of GIMP on your machine. Once you have Python GIMP installed, proceed to install the actual plugin. This is a straightforward process. Download the zip file from the GIMP plugin GitHub location and extract the files segAnyPlugin.py and segAnyBridge.py into the GIMP plugin folder. You can find GIMP's user plugin location in the Edit Preferences menu under the Folders section. You will also need to enable the execute permission of the segAnyPlugin.py file. Now take note of two crucial pieces of information. One the Python 3 instance to be used by Segment Anything. In case you're not using any special environment, this will be the default Python 3 instance. If you've set up a separate environment for Segment Anything, for example, PyENV or Conda, consult the documentation of the tool to determine the Python 3 path. 2. The location of the checkpoint files that you downloaded, which you want Segment Anything to use plugin usage. After completing this step, perform a quick check to ensure your Segment Anything installation is working properly. Execute the Seg Any Bridge script with the model type and the complete checkpoint file path as command line arguments. You'll find the exact command in the video description for easy copy pasting. If you see a success message in the console after running the command, you're all set with the Segment Anything installation. Any exceptions you encounter may be resolved by referring to the Segment Anything site. With the plugin successfully installed, open GIMP, and under the Image menu, you should see a new submenu called Segment Anything Layers. Let's move on to the demonstration of the plugin's various options using a sample image from Pexels.com. Let's begin by opening the image. Go to the Image menu, click on Segment Anything Layers, and this dialog box will appear. Choose the Python instance path we discussed earlier. For example, I'm using pyenv, so I'll select the Python from the pyenv folder. Start with vit underscore h checkpoint type and select the corresponding checkpoint file, which in this case is sam underscore vit underscore h dot pth. Let's select the segmentation type, auto. This option lets segment anything automatically identify individual objects in the image. If you want random colors for each mask layer, check the Random Colors box. If not, you can select a specific mask color using the Color Chooser. Now, let's run the plugin. The Auto type might take some time, and it'll generate many layers since it tries to isolate every possible object. If you're running GIMP via the console, you can see the commands getting executed and the layers being created. The plugin creates a new layer group with several layers. Each will have a specific region filled with mask color representing a potential object. Let's say we want to isolate the lady on the left. Check the newly created layers and you'll find the mask layer corresponding to her figure. 
select that layer and use the Fuzzy Selection tool. Click anywhere within the mask area, optionally adding a one or two pixel feather for smoothness. This will select the entire area which corresponds to the lady. Now hide the newly created layer group. Select the image layer, cut the selection area and paste it as new layer. By hiding the image layer now, you get the desired object isolated. To isolate a specific object without segmenting everything, draw a selection box around the object you want to isolate. In our case, let's focus on the lady in the middle. Draw a selection box around her. And then, in the Segment Anything Layers dialog, select Box as the segmentation type. A new dropdown appears, allowing you to choose the mask type. Opt for multiple to create more than one layer. Click OK. Note that for this option to work, you must have a rectangular selection on the image. Otherwise, you'll receive an error message prompting you to make a selection before attempting box segmentation. With box segmentation type, only a few layers are created in the new layer group, and each represents an object within the box. The object you want to isolate should be within one of these layers. Again, use the fuzzy selection tool and proceed as before to isolate the object. The selection type lets you choose an arbitrary area on the image. It then takes sample points, and the Segment Anything tool attempts to identify the object based on these points. For instance, select the Fuzzy Selection tool, set the threshold value to, let's say, 10, and click within the area containing the object you want to isolate. Now choose Selection as the segmentation type and leave the selection points value at its default, that is 10. Click OK. The plugin generates layers for the objects that correspond to the sample points within the selection area. This is particularly handy if you want to isolate multiple objects within the same selection. For example, in this case, we isolate both the person and his shirt with this selected region. And of course, we can now change the color of the shirt. Lastly, box selection is a combination of box and selection types. However, it requires a two-step process. First, select a rectangular area, convert it to a path, and then create another selection containing the sample points. Invoke the plugin. Choose box selection as the segmentation type, and in addition to selection points, select the path that corresponds to the rectangular selection. The resulting layers will include colored regions related to the objects within the box, which are associated with the sample points. With that, we cover most of the plugin options, empowering you to effortlessly isolate objects in your images using Segment Anything right within GIMP. I hope you find this GIMP plugin a valuable addition to your image editing toolkit. If you encounter any issues, have questions, or want to share your suggestions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment on this video. Your feedback is invaluable, and I'm here to help. Thank you for your time.